Hi, welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a silk scarf with a ink tense block. This is the square blank silk scarf I have and I just put it on a embroidery hook. So it's tight and it's easy to work on. You can also stretch it on a bigger frame. This is a simple way to paint a silk scarf quickly. I put it in the corner first and when it's dry I can move it around to a different corner. This is the Derwent Ink Tense Block. I heard this is very good with making fabric design without heat setting. So after you're done, you're done. And it works like a watercolor. You can add water or acrylic medium or aloe gel because it acts like a water but it has more control. I'm also going to use this stencil so it makes drawing easier. Some of my other supplies include a spray water bottle so I can make the surface damp and this is a aloe gel, aloe vera gel. It acts like a medium and just plain water. And some brushes I have at home and a palette. The first thing I want to do is to make the surface wet because this ink tense block can act like a watercolor and also the water will set the ink into the fabric so it doesn't come out after wash it. I'm just going to start with some spring color because I'm going to do a lot of butterflies and flowers and it's a springtime so I like it light and uh, bright. I make my brush wet and uh, see if the color will mix into the brush. Ooh, it's pretty. I think it's too bright. I want to dilute it more. I don't want a hard circle, so I'm going to take this one and just make it blend in around the edges. I just want it to blend in more around the edges. In the wrinkle area, I just want to make sure I add water so we take out the wrinkles. Now that's what it looks like. In one corner I have more intense color and it fades to the other side. I'm going to add a little bit more similar colors. Brown and shades of green and orange. Again I use brush. A big brush because this is for background and I want it to I want it to blend like a watercolor and of course you can have different effects you just have to work very quickly in the beginning so the pen doesn't dry up if you want it to be even and not creating hot edges. I 
I don't mind the mix of different textures here and there. I'm going to do the other color with the green color. You can also mix the colors too, but for now I'm happy with what the color looks like on the scarf. That's a beautiful green color. I can make it darker and I don't mind the wrinkles because that's a textured effect. I like to emphasize the corner more because that's what you see most when you are wearing a scarf. So that's what it looks like right now. I'm going to let it dry and then we'll do the stencil and the hand painting. This is what it looks like after I dry it with a hair dryer. So it dries in, in less than 10 minutes. The color is a, a little bit lighter when it's dry, but it's still pretty. And if I put it together, the color is more intense. I start with corner and I just have to decide where to put the flowers and butterfly. And I'm going to use the uh, aloe gel so it has more control, it doesn't spray out all the paints everywhere. Pick a color, pick a place for the butterfly. I think I'm going to do this side. I'm going to put some paper towel below just in case. Get some paint and just start painting. You can mix color, but for, for me, I just try to keep it simple for this project. Need more gel. Next, I'm going to use some of the flower. I want to clean the stencil first before I start using a different pattern. Maybe I'll have a big flower and some leaves. I can paint one more butterfly here. We can wash out a little bit of this with more water. Use my paper towel to dry up. I'm going to take down this hoop.
just going to add more texture. I'm just going to draw directly with the paint, see how it looks like. That's what it looks like after I finish this corner. I have to dry it up a little bit and show you. So that's what it looks like in the corner. I only have flowers and a butterfly in one corner. I leave the other corner plain. This is what the scarf looks like.